Rental is probably the simplest one to tackle, and then we'll get into buy versus lease. Um, renting, obviously, if you've got a project or a short-term need for a specialized tool, uh, that's likely where you want to go. It seems dead obvious. Um, I don't think companies think about renting enough. There's a lot of time where um, you can you can rent or, or even just rent an attachment that'll save you a lot of labor. And in this day and age, at least currently right now, labor is so hard to come by. Uh, renting should be something that I think more contractors do. Sure, there's an expense to it, but if you really look at the labor savings uh, by having that efficient equipment, it can make a big difference. Um, where rental starts to get a little cloudy, though, is uh, as you get into seasonal rentals. So I see a lot of companies, for instance, especially in the snow and ice industry, uh, renting equipment for the snow season because they don't necessarily need it in the green season, um, or they wouldn't need it all the time. And actually, that's probably the indicator. If you don't need it at all in the green season, you're probably safe to rent, and that's probably financially your best decision. But with a couple of months of rental, compare that to a lease, oftentimes there's not that much difference. So on something like a skid steer, for example, that could plow snow, but could also work, even if it's only sometimes in the summer, um, it really doesn't take that much difference to just actually take a, a lease in a year. And you won't pay that much more in a year than renting. You probably will pay a little bit more, but if you could use that skid steer on four, five, six projects, uh, you'd do those projects faster, which means you have the opportunity to do more projects in a year because I'm spending less time. Uh, but you'd also have the labor savings as well as those. Um, so it's definitely something contractors should consider for that kind of equipment. The most interesting one is probably the buy versus lease. Um, you see a lot of contractors, at least I've seen a lot of contractors gravitate to the purchase. Um, you own it, um, you pay it off, and then you don't owe anybody any money. And I think that the big fallacy is that, that uh, get our equipment paid off, then I don't have any payments, and then I'm making profit. Um, which is true from a cash flow perspective, but isn't really true. I mean, then the equipment starts depreciating and if you're not charging for it, you're not recouping any of that either and you're gonna need equipment eventually. And honestly, that's why you see a lot of contractors have old equipment and that old equipment breaks down a lot and that equipment causes a lot of issues with your crews, causes a lot of extra labor when it breaks down. Somebody's gotta take the equipment to the shop. Um, somebody's gotta work without it which means that now they're working by hand, or you have to rent one to make up for it. You gotta pick it up again. Um, and then the same thing happens next week. It's frustrating for the crews, it's demoralizing, it slows your projects down. You can imagine, even if that only happens two or three times a year, that's probably another project you could have squeezed in. Maybe it's ten, fifteen thousand dollars worth of lost revenue, just because your equipment broke down three times. So that the, that's a big missed cost. Now, you look at, well, what if I just always leased? So I. I you know, every three years, leased a, a newer equipment that broke down a lot less. Well, if you could get an extra $15,000 project in, that's actually going to pay for a lot of that lease uh, that you're not considering, uh, just by always having uptime on the equipment. So I definitely encourage contractors to, to think more about leasing. Uh, in this day and age, anyway, interest rates are super competitive, often 0%. And if I can use uh, a manufacturer's money to help my company grow, uh, just it's a really smart business decision. Um, so it's something I think a lot more contractors should think about.